Yo, what up? What's poppin'? It's me, Josh O2 Sanya. I hope you had a fantastic week. My week was great. Thank you so much for asking. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that you ask how I'm doing. On this video, I'm gonna address a question that I read in the comments from Debbie Kohler. Debbie Kohler asked, can you talk about how to bring yourself up when you're a little sad? Well, I think I can do that. Without further ado, let's get started. First thing I like to do is I like to take walks, okay? There's something about taking a walk and being in that quietness and that solitude, it's great. It helps me, I feel like that solitude helps me effectively analyze whatever situation I'm in. And the cool thing is too, you can take a walk by yourself or with another person. Sometimes it's nice to have that other person there because you can, you can open up to them and get some stuff off your chest. And also what you can do, if you're in a bad mood because of another person, you can bring that other person along with you on that walk and you two can hash it out. So that's the first thing I like to do. I like to take walks. Second thing I like to do, I like to make a list. I love making lists if you guys don't make lists you got to get on it <laughs> so basically if you're feeling down you're feeling depressed you're feeling like you don't have the things you want in life you just get a piece of paper get a pen or pencil whatever you prefer and start writing down a list of all the things you can be thankful for all the blessings you have in your life because look I I've said this before in previous videos no matter where you're at in life no matter how little you think you have, there is somebody somewhere out there in this world that wishes they had the things you take for granted. So grab that piece of paper and pen and start writing things down. It could be anything from being thankful for the roof over your head to some major achievement you had. Another thing you can do is call someone you love, okay? Call someone you love, man. Call someone you love. For me, it's always family, and I think I mentioned it before, uh, but I live in the Midwest and my family lives on the West Coast in the Seattle area. I haven't seen their faces in like over a year. So whenever I'm feeling down, whenever I'm feeling depressed, I always call my family. So I mean, shoot, I mean, who's gonna be closer to you than your family? I mean, sure, you can have close friends too, but I'm saying for me, it's my family. So call someone you love, call someone you trust that can really help boost your mood and really like set things straight for you. Sometimes you realize after talking to someone you care about and, and they paint the picture more clearly for you, you realize, oh, things aren't really that bad or it's not really that big of a deal or I'm not in <laughs> as bad of a position as I thought I was. A fourth thing you can do is go see a movie, okay? Now, I recently started doing this. I started, I recently started seeing movies by myself. I did this twice. I saw Girls Trip. That's a fantastic movie, by the way. Girls Trip is great. And then I saw the new Spider-Man, Spider-Man Homecoming. And there's something about seeing movies by yourself, especially comedies. It's like, you know, I don't even have words for it. It just feels good. Like after I watched Girls Trip by myself, like my mood increased like drastically I felt great now, don't get me wrong you don't got you don't have to see a movie by yourself you know go see with your friends as well too you know I enjoy movie watching movies with all my friends and we can laugh and joke about the same parts of the movie that's a great thing too but I do recommend you know see a movie seeing a movie can be a great experience now the fifth one the fifth one I I used to do this a lot because you know I played soccer for most of my life is going for a run. And this is kind of similar to taking a walk, but I'm telling you, like the act of running, the act of just exercising in general, it really helps get your mind off things and it relieves stress. And you know, if you look it up, if you look it up, you go to like, what are some of these sites? Mayo Clinic, or like just a basic Google search, you will find the studies show that, you know, exercise improves your endorphins. It increases your endorphins. Your endorphins are your brain's feel good transmitters. This in turn, you know, it helps eliminate your stress. It helps improve your mood. And, you know, I played soccer, like I said, for most of my life. And I I can attest to this. I got into a habit of running on a daily basis. And I can recall experiencing what's called a runner's high, which is a phrase for the increased production of endorphins in your brain. All right, sixth point. This is the sixth thing you can do to help improve your mood, and that is just spend time with people. You know, sometimes it's hard to improve your mood by yourself. So, you know, seek out social events, hit up your friends, hit up your, your best friends, and hang out, go to a party, or like I said, you can go see a movie together, or just find something to do with other people you care about. So, this concludes this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some value in this. I hope there are things in this video that you can take, you can apply, you can use it, and they'll work for you. If you like this video, give it a like, okay? Click that like button down below. Leave some comments down below, and you know the deal. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Click that little subscribe button down below. And if you have any video suggestions or any questions you want to ask me, leave them in the comments and I might make a video on it. So anyway, that's it for me. Okay, I gotta peace out. I gotta, I gotta leave, but I will be back. I'll be back. <laughs> so have a fantastic week. All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. Peace.